What's up guys, Steph here and this is Wasteland 3 um, playing on PC. So we just captured Reed, um, the guy that helped the Dorseys. So, Rangers, continue. What brings you here? Getting new dialogue. Nothing, Indeed. okay. Just straight in. I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor, put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor, You've got big problems. <laughs> but then, who'd make the precious hundred families feel all warm and snug? Yeah, they'd never let that happen. What can I do for you, Rangers? Thanks. If you've got any feedback, be sure to fill out a form. All right, let's save Hope Emerson. I like you already, Rangers. I asked for a favor, and you came through for me. Not only that, but you sent me Isaac Reed and his trader friends, all cuffed up and looking pretty. <laughs> Seems to me that if somebody commits a crime in Colorado Springs, Ooh. they should face Colorado Springs justice. I'm glad we see eye to eye on that. Some of my marshals weren't so sure about you. Damn right. It's in all our interests to keep this city safe. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? He's gonna be my jailer? Amity got flattened by the Scar Collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the Marshals ever since, but she keeps turning me down flat. We, uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, she's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, since you already dealt with Isaac, let's concentrate on Brago. <sighs> I'll never understand why the Patriarch let that rat set up shop here. Been nothing but trouble, so him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. Who is he, anyway? In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, oh, to search okay. for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though. And I'm a little worried. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on them? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul them in. Take down Brigo for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, Ammo, armor, the whole shebang. <laughs> the marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best inspector I've got. Keep him safe and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. Oh. Thanks for talking to me, Rangers. And I'm grateful to Daisy for the introduction. I hope I can be of some use to you. I thought there might be a bit of a job interview first, but if you're ready for me, I'm ready to start. Certainly. What do you want to know? It's not there anymore. Scar collectors rolled through and took everybody they could catch for slaves. 
Then they burned the place to the ground. I led a caravan of survivors to Colorado Springs, and I've been here ever since. <laughs> no, and the people who do are usually sickos who get off on bossing around convicts and making them squirm, right? Well, that's not me. I promise you. I became a jailer after getting locked up myself when I was a kid and seeing the job done wrong. We expect the law to be fair, from arrest to trial to sentence, but too many people forget that incarceration is part of the process. A big part, and often the least fair. People in jail are there to learn from their mistakes. In a bad jail, all they learn is to mistrust the law and fear their fellow man. I want to make your jail a good jail where everyone is treated fairly, regardless of their crime, and everyone has a chance to improve themselves. Daisy tells me you've been tireless fighters for justice in Arizona, settling disputes, breaking up gangs and militias, putting down a plague of robots, and that you're here in Colorado for the most noble of reasons, to save your people back home after a terrible disaster. I hope she wasn't blowing smoke because she made you sound just like the sort of heroes I want to work for. I respect Daisy's determination to keep Colorado Springs safe, but I... I don't agree with her methods. They're too... savage. Take the pillories, for example. The marshals shackle prisoners into them for the smallest of crimes and leave them exposed to the cold for hours. They lose fingers and noses and ears to frostbite, if they survive at all. What does that accomplish, other than cripple them and mark them as criminals for life? After that, how can they become good citizens? How are they to believe that the law is fair? It turns my stomach. Thank you. I'll be there as soon as I make my goodbyes here. Looking forward to working with you. Okay, so I leveled up. I think again. Who leveled up? He did. Okay. I'm gonna keep up. I have a feeling he's gonna leave me anyway, so keep that up. We're gonna save that point. You put the armor mod in. Yeah, I'm gonna save that point. Really close. We need, I need to get one of these for all of them, or at least for the Rangers. I'm gonna get that someday. Extra, extra, bloody shootout and guarding up the gods. Hey, you're the ranger. 
strangers. Well, first time we met, I didn't know you were in town. Heard all about you now. Well, it's the only safe place we've got. Vegas is gone. The robots saw to that. The refugees say the East is dying too. Might still be a couple nations out there. Motor City Combined and Buckeye Republic. But they were at war last we heard. <sighs> Colorado's the only safe place left. And we have the Patriarch to thank. That makes this town the best place in the world, near as I can tell. Even if it isn't perfect. You bet! Alright. Oh, Some places are still closed. This place is still going to be closed, I think. And she's going to accompany me until... I love, I loved this job. You love your job? Okay, so we're gonna do this next. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna end the video here. Had a quick short dialogue. I know I have short videos, then I have the really long ones. So you can like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I'll really try my best to get this on each one video per dialogue or per character. So everything's all nice and ready. So thank you. Thank you.